it's Sandy and welcome to another Quarantino random vlog on a Friday in which I'm going to draw on a dog's harness. A few weeks ago I ordered a halter for Giallo and while it is not fitting him perfectly in this first set of pictures, you might notice that the color of it matches his pink tongue, which means it's not a very manly color for a boy dog. So this is the fabric I had to deal with, and I asked a lot of you on Facebook and Instagram to give me some ideas on what I could do with it. And the most common suggestion, and the one that I also had in the house, because that's always an important thing, was to use Sharpies. And one of the reasons I thought this would be especially good was because these would be waterproof. I'm not going to take Giella swimming in this necessarily. It's more for walking and trying to keep him under control when we are on walks because he's a terrible leash walker. But I decided I would use my Sharpies to make a design on here and you can see it bleeds. So if you're going to do this and just leave the line work on there, you might be disappointed in how much feathering there is around each one of the lines. But I happen to have this pack of Sharpies in all different kinds of rainbow colors and thought that would make a really fun stained glass look for this. And it worked really nicely. It was kind of fun and relaxing to just fill in shapes and colors. And it was super easy as well. So if you have a dog harness that's made out of fabric like this, feel free to try this on there. It's super, super simple to do. Your kids could do this and it'll make your dog stand out and look really, really cool. This harness that I purchased, which I will have a link to in the doobly-doo, I bought because everybody told me if I had one of these harnesses that had this ring, this is the part that goes on the chest, has a ring on the chest, then it would keep the dog from pulling that I needed this kind of harness in particular, so that's why I bought it. What I did find is that putting the harness on the ring didn't work really well for Giallo because he doesn't just pull, he yanks. He pulls my whole arm off. And what that did was just loosen the whole thing and it just pulled the whole thing sideways. He totally ignored the fact that he was being tugged. And I know that's supposed to be how it works but that did not work for Giallo. However, what did work is that he loves wearing his harness. He is just the happiest little boy in the world. I don't know if it's because he feels he's being hugged by this thing, that he's got something wrapped around him. He doesn't feel the need to try to run down the street after things. He'll give a little tug here and there, but look at him here. He's just walking beside me. He's not even walking in front of me because he's just very, very content when he's on this harness. I am absolutely shocked by this and hopefully it means I can return to taking both dogs for a walk at the same time. However, Giallo loves when he and I go for walks by ourselves and I take each of the dogs individually because he can have permission to run loose for a little while when we come to a section of the trail where we're not going to meet anyone else. Because if there's another person there, he'll run up to them and I don't want him to scare anybody. But when we're out here by ourselves, he can just run because look how, how well behaved he is. He just keeps circling back, checking in. He's my mama's boy entirely. But now he walks really nicely on a leash when he's got this harness on and I am so excited. I'm no longer relegated to only wanting to take them to the park because there at least I don't have to have my arm ripped off but now we can go for walks around the neighborhood much more together. You can see Vienna, his sister, is really good on a leash. She loves to just walk along slowly with me and she doesn't yank my arm off at all unless she sees a squirrel, in which case, you know, there's that. The dog parks are opening here, at least for right now, and we're gonna wait a little while and let everybody do the brush to the park. Because I have a feeling it's gonna be super packed for the next week or two until everybody calms down a little bit. So we are gonna wait a while longer and we're gonna continue doing walks in the neighborhood like this. And we stopped by the school because I've been wanting to read these signs that were outside. I've driven by them before. And it was cool to see these notes from teachers for the students saying how much they miss their students and encouraging them to do their homework. There were notes for the archery team and stuff at the elementary school. And it was just really sweet to see 
the teacher's trying to reach out to the kiddos. So next I want to share a couple other random art things really quickly before I go. First off is a big thank you to all of you who sent me birthday cards last month, as well as some more cards that have continued to trickle in. You guys are awesome. I do save them and I put them up here and I have another shelf above that is waiting for more cards. So if you want to send cards, the address is on my website on the contact page. So yowza for that. I also did this thing. I'm not going to continue with it. There's a million pages left in this book. It was done in acrylic paints and I discovered I don't like acrylics and I don't have brushes that work and stuff. But, you know, it was a fun thing to try. So there you go. And then I also have a video on the MFT channel today with these darling little gnomes and creating a whole scene out of them and a background and all that in watercolor. So you can see the link in the doobly-doo and go check out that video. And last but not least, a short conversation I had with John Cogley from Daniel Smith is available over on their channel. And you can see that and a little peek at my studio. It's not a super exciting or long video, but you can check it out. There are no comments open to make a comment over there, but you can hit the like button and you can come back here and comment, or you can go to my social media and comment. So there you go. That's it for today. Have a great day. I'll see you again next week with more videos because that's how I roll. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.